All right, hello and welcome back to a series about height fields. So in this video, we'll be talking a bit about uh, how to layer noises and what to think about when you're doing that and about distortion. So starting off here, I have a simple setup of a cellular noise and a purling noise. And as you can see, um, it's starting to look a lot better than just a um, cellular noise. So this is what you do when you, when you want to build your terrain. You take a base noise, for instance the Whirly F1, but we can also switch this to say, um, let's do Alligator. So this by itself doesn't look very good. Um, it has these very weird shapes and sometimes even really weird distortions, but if we layer another noise over it, it already starts looking a lot more natural. And these peaks could be mountain tops instead of just weird extrusions. So when you're layering your noise, you want to be sure that you take into account how large your feature size is. So for the bass, you want to start off large. So let's switch the noise around actually to the Manhattan noise. So this is a pretty large noise and let's actually up the element size so we don't go too small here. These shapes are very large and because of the uh, fractal you can see that it gets a lot more detail, but still it won't go as far as for instance the Perlin noise that we apply over this, or the sparse convolution noise, sorry. But what if you want to say break this pattern up, because especially for a Manhattan noise um, this is a very straight pattern and you wouldn't see this in nature. That's what we use distortion for. So this, here I put down a sinusoid noise um, with just a couple of inputs there. I made sure it wasn't centered, adjusted the amplitude and the element size a bit, and that's about it. So this sinusoid noise by itself doesn't look very interesting or exciting, which is why we apply distortion over it. Here you can see um, a out-of-the-box simplex distortion. So the only things I changed here were lowering the octaves, the amplitude, and the element size. And as you can see here, as I increase the element size, what the noise does. Actually, you might be able to visualize it better with the amplitude. Um, the simplex distortion kind of stretches your terrain out. So it takes it and it stretches it out to a different spot. And this can be very useful if you just want to distort your terrain along the X and um, Z axes. And this is something to keep in mind. A noise will displace your noise in the Y axis, so it will go up and down. But a distortion will displace it on the um, X and Z axes, meaning that it will go left and right and uh, front and back. So this was the simplex noise and we also have a curl noise which will do the same thing but it'll kind of twist your um, your height fields instead of stretching them out like the simplex does. And a general rule of thumb for the curl noise is I personally like to keep the amplitude under the element size. Because as I start increasing this amplitude you can see that it starts to not look as good anymore, especially when you increase the amount of octaves. So it starts off at eight octaves, and if I pull this up to eight, then it really doesn't look as good anymore. And you really want to have that amplitude lower a bit. To fix this, however, you can up this to say 150, which is exactly the element size. And we can increase this sub-steps parameter. So as we increase this, it kind of starts to um, control that, um, that roughness and make sure it isn't as effective as it usually would be. And it creates these very interesting patterns. The same can be done on the simplex distortion. So if we up the roughness here, or the octaves, to 8, and we increase the sub-steps, you can see that it starts to stop how much the... Um, distortion does, but it does sort of a, 
yeah, it makes sure that it isn't as rough, basically. You could say it's a smoothing operation, but that wouldn't be fully accurate, I would say. So that will be it for this video on height fields with distortion and layering noises. And in the next video, we'll be going over the uh, final bit of the absolute basics, how to layer distortions, and how to uh, combine noises and distortion. Thank you for watching.